In this Adobe Captivate movie, we will look at an application of the Nebraska Astronomy Applet Project's Lunar Phase Simulator. This simulation is available for use or easy download to your own computer on the web at astro.unl.edu. The details related here are described more fully in a Mercury Magazine article entitled Muslim Moon Sightings by Ahmad and Shaukat from the May-June 1995 issue. I will start the simulation and with the first sighting of the crescent moon, the Muslim month of Ramadan has begun. This is a month of fasting during the day, and it will last until the next lunar month begins with the first crescent moon. The Muslim religion places particular importance on the lunar month for beginning each Islamic month and setting the dates of religious activities. In the main panel of the simulation, we can see the moon revolving around the earth through the waxing phases. In the moon phase panel on the upper right, we can see the corresponding appearance of the moon at that time, and note that the moon is illuminated on the right-hand side during the waxing phases. In the horizon diagram on the lower right, we can see where the sun and moon would be seen in the sky for a mid-latitude observer in the northern hemisphere, assuming that the sun and moon are always located on the celestial equator. We have now passed full moon and are simulating the waning phases since the moon is illuminated on the left-hand side in the moon phase panel. We can look at the angle between the sun and the moon and note that it is decreasing for the waning phases. This angle is exactly 90 degrees for the third quarter moon. The time of excitement draws near. Now as soon as the new moon has passed and the new crescent is spotted, the fasting will end and a great feast will commence. If it is not spotted, the fasting will continue for another day. I will slow the animation rate to minimum at new moon. I stop the simulator as a thin crescent is visible. But could this be seen in the sky? If you look on the horizon diagram, you can see that the moon is very near the sun in the sky, and the thin crescent would likely be washed out by the glare. However, later as the sun sets, there is a brief period where the sun is below the horizon, and the moon is still above the horizon. This scenario gives one the best chance of spotting the thin crescent, viewing immediately after sunset on the western horizon. The article cited earlier describes the excitement as Muslim children climb on houses and peer toward the western horizon, attempting to sight this thin crescent. Thus, the moon is not only important astronomically, but it has social and religious significance in many cultures as well. Muslim moon sightings are only one example of this importance. Please visit the Nebraska Astronomy Applet Project on the web for this and other high-quality astronomical simulations.